That's right, it's a shoe. Okay, honest mistake. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. What's going on, pros and average shows? My name is Rebier. Thanks for tuning in to another video. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be a very relaxed, um, mellow kind of review on the New Balance Freeze Turfs. Some, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I like about them and a few things, very few, that are kind of a bummer or maybe a pain in the butt. So getting right into it, um, if you're going to be looking for these cleats, if you haven't gotten them already, the turfs are pretty much out of stock uh, on the Dick's Sporting Goods website. Um, I got these from Dick's. I got them as a gift, went to go return them because I wanted a small size exchange, yada, yada, yada. They were out of my size and a whole bunch of other sizes. So I'm like size 9 until like 11 and a half totally like out or sporadic between the standard and wide uh, sized shoes which brings me to my first point about why I like these shoes and it's because they offer both ranges now if you haven't seen them already these are what they look like they are fresh I got the blacks because when I wear my uh, box pads my pads sit right on top and then I get to tape up my foot with some electrical tape and some of that glue comes off from the tape and gets on the shoe so I want to show it as least as possible so I opted for black and who doesn't like black shoes but the whites are very very nice just not my cup of tea again getting into the colorway it's got a gray bottom kind of going to talk about the nubbies a little bit um, I've watched a few videos about pros and, and what they wear as far as shoes go. A lot of, I guess a lot of them are wearing the Under Armour Turfs. So I'm going to try them. I was wearing like Asics uh, racquetball shoes. My buddy recommended me to try those and I actually loved them. They were very, very light, but I think I want to go back to some more ankle support. Now within this ankle support is like this suction cup effect that happens when you stick your foot into it once you get your foot in. And it just like sucks your whole foot in to this cradle of ankle V thing. And it just locks you in nice and tight. Even before you tie tie up your, your, your cleat, it really sinks your foot in. And it makes you feel very stable and very locked in um, right away, which is, which is awesome. Now, getting into the lacing and the tongue... Uh, a lot of you probably know this already, but it's it's one piece. Like, you pull this apart, the tongue isn't separate. See? It's not coming apart. It's, it's one piece of the shoe. So at first, it is kind of a pain in the butt to get your foot into, you know, such an awkward-sized hole. Uh, especially if you have a bigger foot. Um, it, it is a little difficult, but it's manageable. It's it's not that big of a deal if you if you really want some type of a stability and uh and if you like the shoe that much you're, you're gonna wear the shoe let's just put it that way you're gonna deal with putting your foot into this weird hole that sounds strange um but again the stability the the lightness the way it feels around your foot how it how it totally engulfs your foot um getting into the kind of the lacing back to that it, it they shift the lacing over to more so the top of your foot rather than being square and centered on the boot itself, which is really nice. Uh, it kind of creates this natural break within the shoe. So I guess when you're running, it gives you a natural uh, curve rather than other boots that'll just be straight and give you this crumpled effect. And then you start seeing that break within this and that's how the tongue slides over and all that mess. So they, I think they've kind of eliminated that, which is awesome to see. And they uh, come standard with like these nice flat laces. If that wants to focus for me one more time. They come with these nice flat laces. So they sit nice and flush. You can really crank these down if you like your cleats nice and tight. Or if you want them loose, you can rock them either way. Again, these come all the way up to the side of the ankle, the laces. And you can really crank these down. Get some more higher ankle support if you want. And um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, going back to the standard and wide uh, f sizing, I was going to say foot size, uh, sizing, um, it's great, it's really nice. I wear uh, inserts in my shoes, I have flat feet, so finding a shoe that would actually fit that without blowing out the sides uh, was great. I'm definitely going to end up wearing my orthotics in these, which is very nice. And um, if you wear them, if you have feet problems, if you got 
ankle braces that you put into your shoes or you have some type of a uh, uh, external or internal brace that you wear I think these would uh, fit really well and maybe you might even not even need to um, wear that brace anymore because of that lower ankle support and that Achilles support you can see how it kind of goes forward on you so Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of lax, a little bit longer than usual, but I really want to show you guys these things and uh, what I'm going to be wearing in uh, in Prague and uh, for the rest of this winter going to summer season. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, hope to see you out there. That's right, it's a shoe. Okay, honest mistake. All right, I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye. What's going on, pros and average shows? My name is Reb here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. As you can tell by the title, this is going to be a very relaxed, um, mellow kind of review on the New Balance Freeze Turfs. Some, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I like about them and a few things, very few, that are kind of a bummer or maybe a pain in the butt. So, getting right into it, um, if you're going to be looking for these cleats, if you haven't got them already, the turfs are pretty much out of 